do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter reproduction in plants in that we are studying topic significance of vegetative propagation today we will be studying how vegetative propagation has helped in growing plants like lotus rose how a piece of a plant or a cut part of a plant can help to grow a plant in better way we will be studying today that when i say vegetative propagation vegetative means part of the plant and to propagate it means grow the simple meaning of vegetative propagation is to use any part of the plant like roots stems leaves adventitious buds axillary buds apical buds and to develop a whole plant that's vegetative propagation vegetative propagation is done in variety of plants for example if you have cultivated a rose you have done vegetative propagation you have done grafting right so what are the importance of vegetative propagation vegetative propagation helps in multiplication or in growth of the plants which cannot do proper reproduction for example there is no meeting of anther and pollen in this plants for example seedless grapes in which viable seeds or you can say countable seeds are not produced secondly vegetative propagation helps in those plants which have become dormant or in those plants which have poor viability plants which are not able to grow or produce radical even to produce grafting technique for example during the grafting process when you mix two different plants with two different characteristics it is a form of vegetative propagation and the technique of budding is also a form of vegetative propagation whenever you grow potato turmeric you grow bryophyllum radish carrot this all processes are a part of vegetative propagation when you cut a part of the plant and grow a whole soil during all this process the advantages is that you don't have to depend on seed and even the adventitious bird or axillary bird will work for this significance of vegetative propagation or you can say importance of vegetative propagation vegetative propagation can be done using parts of root stems adventitious buds or axillary bud now this method is used for many fruits for example in fruits which do not have seed like banana or you can say the seedless variety of leaf which you never see seeds in them
Vegetative propagation is widely used in those plants which have longer dominancy and when I say dominancy it means that the plant is not able to grow properly or it cannot produce the radical or it cannot develop into a proper plant. Poor viability of seeds are also a reason for vegetative propagation. Hybrid plants, whenever you mix two different plants, whenever you cut and mix two different row stems, a hybrid plant which is a mixture of two different plants can be obtained during vegetative propagation. Techniques like grafting, budding, when you use axillary bud or apical bud or even when you mix two different qualities of a plant by mixing their stems or their axillary stems are a form of vegetative propagation, are a means to achieve vegetative propagation. Students, in this part of the chapter, we have studied how vegetative propagation has helped to cultivate different varieties of plants. I hope you all are clear with the concept of vegetative propagation. Thank you.